Hi, I'm Derek Pitts of the Franklin Institute Science Museum, and you're standing near one of the Franklin Institute's most beloved exhibits, the Giant Walkthrough Heart. Now, the Giant Walkthrough Heart was originally supposed to be just a temporary exhibit when it first opened in the early 1950s. But since that time, it has been so popular that we've had to rebuild it over and over and over again, making it stronger, more durable, so that the one million visitors that come through the museum every year will have a chance to experience walking through the heart, just as uh, you might do today. But when we think about why this heart was built this way, first of all, it represents a heart that's about 220 times the size of an actual heart. Built like this, it gives you the opportunity to walk through the heart and see how the interior is built and how it all works and functions. You know, it's uh, not exactly like a fantastic voyage trip through the heart, but just the same, it's one in which you can learn how it all works together. Now, when kids take a trip through the heart, when they actually walk through when they come on a visit, the one thing you might ask them, you might think to ask them is, uh, did you go through the heart today? Well, that's not exactly the right question. The better question to ask is, how many times did you go through the heart? Because what actually happens with kids is when they come to the museum and they discover the heart, once their eyes shrink from being wide with excitement and wonder, they actually take off on a trip through the heart and they run all the way through back around again and go back through several more times. It's been just that much fun for probably millions of kids over the years that it's been here. Now here in the exhibit area we have a number of other parts and pieces that help us better understand the importance of the heart. Uh, so for one, we have exhibits on nutrition, how we can best take care of our, our heart to maintain its health uh, so that it can continue to work for us as it does tirelessly throughout our lives. On another section of the exhibit, you'll find that we have a set of comparison hearts, so you can see how our heart is relatively uh, bigger or smaller than other hearts. For example, we have a display that shows a hummingbird's heart along with uh, the heart the size of a whale's heart. So you get a really good idea of where our heart fits in the hierarchy of size among a number of different animals. And then on the other side of the exhibit, we have a display that helps people understand the mechanics of how the heart can be repaired by doctors and surgeons when something goes wrong and the heart actually needs some repair. When you put these all together, you come up with a full experience. Everything from nutrition to mechanics to various sizes, all culminating in your opportunity to take a trip through the heart.